Hi, I'm Mira from Flow with Mira. This is a Pilates class for back pain relief. We are going to stretch the muscles and strengthen the muscles to improve your back pain. However, this class is not suitable if you have osteoporosis. What we need for this class is a massage ball. If you have or a tennis ball or a golf ball, you can also use a weight as well, any weight, one kilo, two, or whatever is available to you. And we will also need a scarf or a long towel to help you to stretch. Okay, so we're going to begin the class um, with some food relief. So let's put the scarf away. You can either use a massage ball or a weight, an arm weight. So let's place any of those on the floor. I'm gonna give you an exact example for the two of them. So let's see with the massage ball. I like you to just bring the ball of the feet over the ball. So maybe medially in the middle. And then from there, I just want you to put a weight on it and then push your way through, massage through and roll the ball towards the heel side. Like as though you're wearing a high heel shoe. And then reverse that motion back towards the front of your foot. And you can do the same with the arm weight. It's the same thing. Place the ball of your feet over it and then just go through the sole of your foot towards the heels. And keep working with that motion. You can also work, I'm gonna go with the massage ball again. You can work towards the inside of the foot, massage through the inside of the arch and the middle of the foot, the middle side and or the outside of the foot. Just walk through all the arches of your foot. Work on one foot first, and you can also put a little bit of weight, transfer your weight on it, so you pressurize the foot a little bit more and to get a deeper release. Whatever is suitable for you. And then do a few rounds. Walk through the tender part, say. Mine will be more on the back, sort of towards the outside. Sorry, the inside of my foot. I'm gonna work through it. Okay, you can also um, do whatever direction, circular motion, forward, diagonal, anything that feels good for you. All right, and just let that go for a moment. And I want you to just feel your foot. Okay, so feel the sensation on the work side. How does it feel? Okay, so what I'm feeling for me is um, I'm feeling quite a lot lighter and I feel this energy of my arch lifting up towards my pelvis and that will help me to connect my pelvic floor better and create a bit more stability. All right, so pretty good on my right side. I'm gonna work on my left side too. So let's do my left side. With here, I mean, you can choose one item. So I'm just going through a different to show you an example here. So over the sole of my foot, whoa, very tender on my left side. Okay, and so I'm thinking, the reason why I'm feeling tender on my left side is because I have sprained my left ankle numerous time. And so my left foot is a little weaker on compared to my right um, and my arch I suppose is not as strong as my right arch so just observe how your foot is feeling today um, you can roll to the inside of the arch the middle of the arch and the outside of the arch you can do a circular motion and again you can transfer your weight onto that foot right uh, for a deeper sort of fascia stretch here and I'll let it go and do a few more seconds on it. It's a really, really good or great sort of simple exercise to alleviate pain around your ankle, around your feet, to actually invite a sense of um, sort of lift through the pelvic floor. Okay, strengthen the medial line of the, of the body. Okay, and we'll just finish on that left foot and then have a feel. Little, little prance, walk on the spot. How do you feel on the feet today? Observe, keep it to yourself and just listen to your body. 
okay? All right, so we're done with the feet. Let's pull that aside. Now, what we're going to do now, I want to activate your inner thigh. So what we're going to do, use the, um, don't run away ball, right, use the side of your hand. I want you to slide through the inner thigh, the adductors here. So I want you to go, just slice it up. Just rub up and down, just rubbing, stimulating the inner thigh, which will then help you to stimulate your pelvic floor and the core better. But obviously, try and make sure that you don't round your back too much, hold your back and slice away, okay? Making sure that you're not really flexing your back, that's gonna hurt your back even more. So if you really need to, you can go on one leg and slice it, that's fine. This is probably a better position if you have an acute back pain and you can go to the other side. There we go, okay. And just let it go and then have a feel again. How do you feel? How do you feel with the stance, okay? Have your feet parallel and then just stand still for a moment. Close your eyes if you need to. Observe your feet, observe your legs, observe how they talk to your pelvis and how they talk to your whole um, posture. All right, and let it go. Okay, all right, so have your scarf somewhere nearby you. Okay, let's go ahead to or lying on your back. We are going to stretch our glute first. So lie on the back, bending the left knee, taking the right leg up, dorsiflex the foot, bring the right leg across this way, and then grab the back of your left thigh and pull the left thigh towards you. Now at the same time, I want you to use your right elbow to push your right thigh away from your chest and pulling your left thigh to you, pushing the right thigh away. And see if we can have your pelvis grounding or grounded to the floor. And we stay here. So we're stretching the right glute muscles. We're in breath. Allow, as you exhale, the body, allow the body to settle, to relax down to the ground. As you inhale, push the thigh a little bit more Deepen the stretch, exhale. Two more breaths, inhale, exhale. Last one, in breath, and exhale. And let that go. Release, switch over to the other side. Put my left leg across, dorsiflex my left foot, Grabbing the back of my right thigh, pull the thigh to my chest and use my left elbow to push my left thigh away. So in breath, exhale, allow the body to release or relax down to the floor. Again, inhale, deepen the stretch by pushing the left elbow against the right, the left thigh and pulling the right thigh to your chest. In breath, exhale, two more breath here, inhale, last one, okay, and let that go, all right, have your feet as wide as your mat, so wider than your pelvis, have your arms up to a T position, Moving on to our hip rolls here. We're going to drop the right, the, the legs, sorry, the legs to the right side. So allow the body, the lower body to twist and pulling the center back, return the legs and drop the legs to the left and using the center, return the legs. Again, to the right, we twist, exhale. If you feel discomfort at any range, I'd like you to refrain yourself from going too far and just reduce the range of motion. Remember, take care while practicing today. Listen to your body. If anything doesn't feel comfortable, pull back from it. In breath. Exhale. Two more sets. In breath. Exhale. Center. Inhale. 
switch your center on bring your legs back to center one more each side in breath exhale last one here inhale exhale center okay walk your feet back to a parallel position now taking your arms along by the side let's move on to our pelvic rocks here opening or open the front across the front of the chest here take an in breath your pelvis is in neutral position as we exhale allow it to recruit the abdominal muscles and then use the abdominal muscle to imprint your lower spine so your pelvis will till what we call posteriorly so curling the bottom up and then release down exhale deep and using the abdominal i want to see a little hollowing sensation across the front of your abs and then the lower back imprinting so stretching the lower back and the bottom will come off the floor and then release back now if this motion is a, still feel uncomfortable for you you can reduce the range of the rocking if that still feel uncomfortable for you i like you to not rock at all but just work on the abdominal engagement and let go so you can either follow me through and rock and go into a deep flexion as much as you can and then release or you can reduce the motion the range of motion and still rock or you cannot rock at all just engage your tibia muscle your deep abdominal muscle and just let it go okay i like you to choose a movement that suits your back today let's do two more times here together exhale inhale release last one exhale inhale release now we're going to take it through your pelvic curl exhale if you can rock the pelvis just fine continue the journey press the arms use the hamstrings to help you to lift the pelvis to a height that feels comfortable for you the abdominal muscle is still drawing in towards the spine in breath at the top exhale deeper engagement of the abdominal to flex the spine down vertebrae by vertebra down to the floor if you don't feel comfortable with that flexion i like you to recruit the abdominal and press up straight away without any articulation inhale at the top and then as you exhale fold through the hip and then release back so no articulation at all so you have two choices pelvic go through articulation or a bridge hip lift without any articulation again i like you to choose an exercise that suits your lower back today in breath exhale roll it down so i'm going to do the articulation pel pelvic curl with articulation today exhale scooping in or rolling up to the bridge inhale exhale rolling down vertebrae by vertebrae and release back to neutral last one here exhale deep scoop in the abs and curling the pelvis take it all the way up to your bridging making sure in the thighs are working pressing the big toes down spreading your toes on the floor don't forget to lift the arch of your feet exhale to roll the spine back and release back to neutral excellent now i like to straighten the left leg down on the floor grab your right leg on the shin on the knee press your right thigh to your chest dorsiflex your left foot so we're going to do a little hip compression here exhale we're going to press your right thigh to your chest keep reaching the heel the left heel away from your hip and release two more times exhale we press and reach the heel and inhale release last one exhale press the thigh to your chest reach the left heel and release let that go bend the left knee take the left foot in extend the right leg and go ahead take the left leg up and compress the thigh the left thigh to your chest dorsiflex your right heel or your right ankle 
compressing as you breathe up and let it go. Again, pressing, pressing, pressing and let it go. Last one, compressing the hip, reaching the heel away in opposite direction and let it go. Okay, release the foot down, take the right foot in, go back to that neutral pelvis, arms long by the side. Now moving on to our leg lift here. So I, ideally, I like you to have your pelvis in neutral position. However, it may not feel good for some of you. So if that pelvis position doesn't feel quite right, you can go ahead and scoop the belly in and imprint the lower spine down to the floor so your lower back is lengthened, okay? So let's go. I'm gonna go with the left leg first. As I breathe out, and then draw my abdominal in, stabilize the pelvis so I'm not jolting my belly out or jolting my lower back up. And I'm gonna take my left leg to a tabletop, knee over your hip, and the shins parallel to the ground. And I'm gonna lower down as I inhale from my hip joint. Exhale, inhale, exhale. I'm trying to keep my pelvis in neutral. Exhale, however, like I said before, if neutral pelvis doesn't feel comfortable for you, I'd like you to deepen the abs a little bit more and tuck the pelvis up and imprint the lower back and move the leg in the posterior tilt position. But make sure you are still recruiting your abdominal as you take the leg up. So you're not jolting the belly out as you lower the leg and then rocking back again. So stability in the pel position of the pelvis in whatever position you prefer today, neutral or posterior tilt. I'm gonna go back to neutral and let's hold that. Now, same thing again, extend, but extend the left leg forward and then pull in. Inhale, scoop deep, stretch the leg, exhale. Again, you can do this in posterior tilt or stay in neutral. Extend and so listen to your body, observe and find a position that suits your back today and pull in whatever position that is, maintain that position. Keep the intra-abdominal pressure as you move the leg away and in. Okay, and lower the leg down. Let's go over to the other side. Stabilize the pelvis, breathe out, take the leg up to tabletop. We extend, oh no, I'm sorry. We're gonna do leg lift first. Oh, I'm jumping hoops, sorry everybody. We go lower down, as the inhale. Exhale, up, lower down, tap. Exhale, up, lower down, tap. Exhale, up. Again, stabilize the pelvis, stay in neutral or posture tilt. Either position that feels more comfortable for your back today. I can't tell it for you. You need to listen to your body. My back feels good in neutral positions. I'm keeping it in neutral today. All right, one more time here. Inhale down and then up. All right, single leg stretch. Extend in breath. Exhale, deep scoop. Inhale, reach. Exhale, deep scoop. Inhale, extend, reach. Exhale. Again, hold your center. Your abdominal should contain, to be contained in towards the spine as you extend the leg and as you pull it in. One more time, please. Extend up and pull in, lower the foot down. Brilliant. Okay, now I'd like you to grab your scarf. Bring the right leg up, place the scarf around the foot here. Straighten the leg, try to ground the pelvis down and hold on to the scarf or the towel on the end. Now, you can have either, have your leg in, um, in a bent knee position or straighten, right? Choose one that's suitable for you today. Let's do some leg circle here. So dorsiflex the foot, stabilize the pelvis, Bring the leg across the body, down and away. We exhale one round, stay parallel, inhale one round. Exhale one round, inhale one round. And then keep the pelvis stable 
and moving through the hip joint. And one more this direction and an exhale. And now reverse, we go out, around, in. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, last set, inhale. Exhale, and stay, hold. Now, let's move on to a hamstring stretch. So place the scarf around the ball of the feet so you can really try to bring your ankle into a deep dorsiflexion here. Now pull the leg as far as you can for a really good hamstring stretch here. All right, now hold that position here. Now like you to release the ankle point and then bring it to dorsiflexion again. So point and then bring it to dorsiflexion. So we go plantar flex the ankle and then dorsiflex the ankle. Plantar flex the ankle, dorsiflex the ankle. Two more. And last one. And okay, bend the knee and release that. Lower the foot down. Change, extend the right leg, bring the left one up. We start with some leg circle. <clears throat> okay, vertical leg. You can also bend the right knee if that suits you better today. All right, let's go to leg circle. We go across the body, stay in parallel, and then away. And an exhale. And an in breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Last set, or last one here, and center hold. Reverse out. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Last set. Exhale. Center hold. Let's go to the hamstring stretch. So place the scarf around the ball of the foot and dip dorsiflex and pull the leg closer to your chest and find that after you find that and we're going to plantar flex the ankle and dorsiflex plantar flex and dorsiflex again plantar flex and dorsiflex and plantar flex and dorsiflex two more and last one and pulling in pulling in pulling in and let that go well done put the scarf onto the side for a moment bring the leg together open your arms up to a t position here let's go spine to supine rotating from the waistline as we inhale we keep the legs together exhale through the center pull back Inhale over to the other side. Exhale, pull to center. Now really want your legs to travel together. So as I go to my right, my left foot come off. As I go to my left, my right foot comes off. Exhale, center. One more each side. Inhale, twist. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, twist. Exhale. Well done. All right, bring your arms down to the side. Let's do some leg changes. Now, if you had your pelvis in posterior tilt before when you do the leg lift, most probably you will feel com more comfortable with the pelvis in posterior tilt when you do the leg changes. So we go exhale as you take the right leg up to tabletop. Now, as you breathe out, stabilize your center. Let's switch and switch and switch. Switch. Again, you can tuck the bottom up and imprint the lower back here to do the leg changes. And two more sets. Last set. Last one. Bring both legs up to the tabletop with stay. Place your hands, the palms of your hands 
against your thigh, then we're gonna do some TVA squeeze here. So I like you to think about pushing your thigh up, at the same time pressing down with the palm. So here we go, as we breathe up, we push up, as you push down, hold the center tight for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Three more times. Exhale, pull in the center, push up and push down. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. One more time, please. Exhale, press up and push down. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Well done. Lower the foot down and second one down. Turn around, face me. Let's do some leg, not leg, some, let's do some chest opener. So stack the legs together, interlacing the hands behind your head. I like you to have your feet together and align your feet with the spine. Okay, lifting the underneath waist, please. From here, we inhale as we open the chest, we'll take us up towards the back. Exhale, we close. Let's do three more times. Inhale, as we open, exhale, and two more, inhale, exhale, last one, in breath, exhale, well done. Okay, now I'd like you to release the bottom hand long. All right, now, have your legs stacked up the same way. Engage your underneath waistline. You can have the top hand here. Let's move on to our clamps. We open the thigh and we close for 10. Two here, stabilize the pelvis. Three and four and five, six. Making sure the pelvis doesn't rock. Seven, eight, two more, nine. Last one, 10. Okay, now take your feet forward. So you're creating like a letter H here. Now lift the top leg up. Hover there, stay for 10, nine, eight. Lift the underneath waist off. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold that, let's do some circle. We're gonna go down with the thigh, up with the thigh and a forward and two. So circling around the hip joint or in the hip joint and three and four and five. Pelvis is stable. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's reverse. Take it up, down and forward and then up, back, down and forward. Three, four, five. I know you're feeling slightly burned in the pelvis. Four, and, and seven, eight, nine, ten, and Finish a bit of hammer in the bottom. Well done. Help yourself up, please. And then lift the underneath arm, reach up to the sky and side bend over. And let it go. Let's go over to the other side. So we start with the chest opener. Stack the legs together. Feet aligned with the spine. Interlace the hands behind your head. As we inhale, we open through the chest and we rotate back. As we exhale, we close. Again, we inhale, rotate. Exhale, we close. Don't forget to lift the waist up in breath. Exhale. One last one here. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, we close. Well done. Okay. Extend the underneath arm, hands on the hips, moving to our clams. We open, we close, and two, we close. Stabilize the pelvis, three, and close. Four, five, six, seven, 
eight, two more nine, last one ten. All right, take your feet forward, create a letter H with the leg here and hover the top leg, hold it down. Stabilize the center, lift the underneath waistline, stay for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hang on there, let's do circle. Down, up, forward, two, up. Four, three, up, and four, up, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine. Last one, ten. Reverse. We take it up, back, and down, and two, and three. And four, stabilize the pelvis, five, and six, and seven, and eight, almost there, and nine, and ten. Okay, and let it go. A little hammer on the bottom. Well done. All right, and let's help yourself up. We come up, lift the underneath arm, reach up to the sky, and side bend. Just a quick one. And let it go. Okay, let's go to all four position or quadruped position. Align the shoulder and the heel of your palm. Align the knee and the center of your hip. So push the floor away. Lift up and engage the abdominal muscles so you are not swaying down like a hammock here. Opening across the front of the chest. Let's move on to our cat stretch. We round the spine. So a little different here. I want it to go into flexion. Now, hold the flexion. Send the pelvis to the heels. And bring the body over your hands and knees again. Through neutral. Extend the upper back into extension. Again, through neutral into flexion. And sit the pelvis back again. If this feels very uncomfortable for you to be in flexion, please just stay in a normal cat or remove the flexion altogether. Okay? So we're going to sit back here and then bring it back over. Hands and knees through neutral. Upper back extend and arch. And rounding back flexion sit back if that feels comfortable for you if not you can emit that on and then to neutral and then extend the upper back and last one rounding sitting back and then over your hands and knees through neutral and upper back and release well done let's move on to our thread a needle stretch take the right arm up to the sky to the side that is bring your arm through underneath the left armpit rotate your body and reach the arm across to the opposite side now your pelvis should ideally be above the knee still now Lower the shoulders and the head down. If you feel comfortable here, you can extend the left arm forward. If not, you can keep the left arm just by the side of your face. And stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Release the arm back, push off the floor and go back to your quadruped. At the side, left arm out to the side and underneath through the armpit, Rotate the body across to the other side. And then if you feel comfortable, lower the shoulder and the head down. And you can also extend the right arm overhead. Make sure the pelvis stays right over the knee, please. And you're not flopping or swaying down towards the right. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. And right arm back to next to your face. Push the floor away quadruped and let that go let's transfer yourself down to the floor okay almost done here all right so basic back extension here so your legs are long behind you 
parallel position, your arms are long by the side here. Now really wanted to lift the abdominal wall up and lengthen the lower spine. The moment you flop that belly down, you're going to compress more on the lower spine here, which may not feel comfortable for some of you. Okay, so drawing up the abdominal, Send the sitting bone down to your feet, arms long by the side, neck is long. From here, we're going to inhale, we glide the shoulder blades down. Without dropping in the lower spine, you take the upper back and the middle back to your maximum extension and keeping the neck long. Exhale, you go down again. Inhale, energy through the legs and the abdominal, glide in the shoulder blades, lifting upper back, middle back, and coming down again inhale so we are strengthening our upper middle back here and come down two more times inhale reach long exhale one last one here we're going to stay in that position inhale reach stay turn the palms facing down to the floor Open your arms up to a T position, palms down. Now opening across the front of the chest, hold the upper back, slide your arms down to the side like an aeroplane. And out. Exhale, pull down. Inhale to the T. Exhale, pull down. Inhale to a T. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, in breath. Two more, exhale, in breath. Last one, exhale, in breath. And then bring arms back next to your side and then release the body down. Bring the forearm to the side of your shoulder. Use the abdominal, pull off the floor and push away and sit the pelvis down to your rest position. And you can sway your pelvis left and right, relaxing, releasing the back muscle. And, and just keep breathing here, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, exhale, and come to a stillness and go ahead and roll the spine up to a seated position, nice and tall. Well done. Thank you for joining today. I wish you a lovely day and I hope to see you in my other class. Have a great day. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I am Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoy this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.